chances are good many of you watching right now are parents and a lot of you probably brand new parents with new babies. Yep, here at ABC News we are experiencing our own baby boom. <laughs> many of our correspondents, producers and crew are expanding their own families. There's something in the water here at ABC. I know. We're happy to be bringing you into the conversation with a new series, Early Morning Mama, hosted by ABC's own mother-to-be, Lana Zach. Good morning, Lana. Good morning, John and Marcy, and good morning to all you bleary-eyed parents out there. I'm digging into parenting and pregnancy, and I invite all of you to join me as I head out into the adventure of a lifetime. Little baby A. With pregnancy comes questions. What was that? Baby moved. And you moved. Somebody moved. <laughs> Since my husband and I found out we're having twin girls, we've wondered about everything. From my growing belly to the way to give our girls the best start in life. I have no idea how this works. For someone without children, all the gear can be intimidating. When I type newborn into Amazon, it brings up 53,000 products, and that's just in the baby section. So I'm heading to Giggle, a store that cultivates the choices they offer, and I'm asking everyone their opinion. I think baby carriers are really specific to um, men and women. There's some that are just more comfortable for women. Wipe warmers make no sense, especially because when you're out and about, you can't warm up those wipies. Everything from baby carriers to bath gear seem like monumental decisions. So I enlist the help of a friend and expert, Allie Downey. Why is this so high stakes for me, it was, for all of us? It was a total mystery to me as well. Everyone feels that anxiety and everyone feels that sense of panic that they're going to do something wrong because uh, there is a lot that's very mysterious <laughs> about those uh, early months and years of being a parent. Because it's, it's not just about having the baby in the registry, it's the next 20 years of your life. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of stuff around them. Yeah. Allie is the founder of WeSpring. It's like Yelp for parents. A parent comes onto WeSpring and recommends the products that she can't live without. Uh, and then you can log in and look at a single category like car seats and see the four that are most popular with your friends. She says there are three things you can do to make the process less painful. One, let others help with the research. Sites like WeSpring, stores like Giggle, or a friend can do research into what's safe and highly rated, cutting through the noise. Two, set a budget. Think about what can be borrowed, gifted, and what you should actually buy. And three, know what you need to bring baby home from the hospital. You can figure everything else out later. And Allie will actually be back tomorrow with those five essential items to bring a baby into your home. And as I'm taking this journey, I want to hear what you think. Tell us on your World News Now Facebook page or tweet me at Lana Zach or hashtag Early Morning Mama. I want to hear your suggestions, your ideas, and everything as I embark on this next chapter. Yeah, it seems like you're learning so much. I noticed one of the shots was like a really hefty price tag on one of the items. Oh, are you gosh, learning? That's a learning curve. Babies yeah. are expensive. You better yes. believe it. And twin babies are twice as expensive. Yes. And, and all the stuff that's not going to be used all that long. I mean, that stuff will be behind you in a blink of an eye. Well, I, it's all that sort of stuff that I need to figure out what's really right, worth investing exactly. in and what's a great hand-me-down. Yep. Well, so you're learning so much, and we appreciate you sharing this whole journey with us. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I, you know, the, I'm at that place right now where I have tons of energy, and I feel like I can take mm. on the world. Super lady. All the morning sickness is behind me, so Hallelujah. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> Thank you.